Hi again there in front of the screens. One of the most common questions I got on my astrophotography with the Sony a7 III video was like, how did you get the raw files from the Sony a7 III to work in Lightroom? It's a really easy hack and if you're familiar with XF tool and terminal, this will take you two minutes, exactly the length of this video and you will also have your raw files from the Sony a7 III imported into Lightroom. So the first thing you need to do is go out with your new Sony a7 III and take a couple of raw photos. Then you come back home and sit down in front of your computer. It can be a Mac or a Windows. I will show how it works with a Mac because that's what I own. So you hit the link in the description of this video for the EXIF tool and you will download that. It's both available as a Mac download and as a Windows download. Now install the software. And then you will need to put your SD card into your Mac uh, if it has an SD card reader or you will need to connect the camera with a USB cable to the computer. So the next step is because Lightroom does not recognize your RAW files from the Sony a7 III, you need to drag and drop these files that you took onto a folder on your computer. Uh, I recommend you put these into the photos or pictures folder and give the folder a similar naming structure as Lightroom would do it because you will import this folder later into Lightroom. So now you have EXIF tool installed on your Mac and you got your Sony a7 III RAW files also on your Mac. The next step is that you open terminal and then you copy and paste the command that I have included in the description into the terminal. The last part of this command, the directory command, you need to delete and you need to replace it with the folder name that you put the raw files from the Sony a7 III in. You can just drag and drop this folder location name from the finder into the terminal and the terminal will just add that there. The next thing is just to hit enter and let EXIF tool do its magic. Now you can go back to Lightroom and drag and drop that folder where all your converted Sony a7 III images are in and hit import and Lightroom will recognize them and now you can work with them in Lightroom and Photoshop. All right, that was it. Really quick and easy. I hope you found it useful. If you've got open questions, please ask in the comments. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay tuned for future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. That way you will never miss a video from me in the future. Thanks for watching. And now let's go out and take some photos.